My name is Jesse Mwai and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this video broadcast which I have entitled Stop Running. Stop Running. For my text, I have selected Genesis chapter 16 and it's a story of Abraham, it's a story of Sarai, but it's also the story of their maid servant by the name of Hagar. Now, just a little backdrop of this story, uh, Abraham and Sarah were not able, they were actually unable to conceive a child, although God had actually promised them that they would actually be able to get a son. But before that happened, they opted to adopt the culture of the day, which was acceptable, acceptable during that time, and Sarah encouraged her husband to conceive a child with Hagar. Hagar was, a, was an Egyptian maid servant. And probably Sarah imagined and thought to herself that she was going to build a family through Hagar. And uh, Hagar conceived. And then we are told that when she conceived, she began to despise her mistress. So the Bible said, it says here in uh, Genesis chapter 16, verse 5, Then Sarai said to Abra Abraham, You are responsible for the wrong I am suffering. I put my servant in your arms, and now that she knows that she is pregnant, she despises me. May the Lord judge between you and me. Then Abraham, this is what he said. He said, Your servant is in your hands. Do with her whatever you think best. Then Sarai mistreated Hagar so that she fled from her. And the story continues. So now Hagar is on the run. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the des desert. It was a spring that is beside the road to Shur. And he said, Hagar, servant of Sarai, where have you come from? And where are you going? I am running away from my mistress, Sarai. That's what Hagar said. Then the angel of the Lord told her, Go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel added, I will also increase your descendants that they will be too numerous to count. Notice that dialogue. So Hagar is out running because of the trouble back in Abraham's house. And she finds herself in the wilderness. She's expecting, but she's now in the wilderness all by herself. But she's intercepted by an angel. And the, and the angel literally, basically, was there to bring the news or was there to, to, as a messenger of God to tell her, Hagar, stop running. So when she tried to justify why she was running, the angel told her, no, go back to your mistress. Go back to Abraham's household. In fact, go back and submit to your, master, to your mistress. Go back and submit to Sarah, the same one who was mistreating you. Go back and submit to her. And my uh, message to you is very simple. Stop running. See, in this life, you will go through and you'll encounter all manner of challenges. You will encounter all manner of things. You will encounter all manner of, sometimes you'll be misjudged, you'll be mistreated. Sometimes you'll be treated unfairly. Sometimes you will go through trials and temptations and testings. Sometimes you'll go hard, through heartbreaks and failures. Sometimes people will offend you. And the tendency sometimes, uh, with myself included, is that sometimes we begin running. We begin running away from our challenges. We begin running away from people. We begin running away from the trials and the testings. We, instead of confronting the things that are troubling us, we run. I'm here to tell you, stop running. The angel told Hagar, stop running. He stopped her at, at her tracks and told her, in fact, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go back to the very place of your testing, the very place of your trial. Go and settle it there. Go and submit yourself to your mistress. That must have been a hard and difficult word for Hagar. She probably would have expected the angel to be more sympathetic, a little bit much more empathetic. Maybe the angel will have encouraged her. He will have, he will have at least maybe uh, comforted her in her misery. But the angel did not get into her pity party. He did not engage her in her misery. Instead, he said, stop running. Go back to your mistress. Go and submit yourself to her. And of course, Hagar went back, went back and submitted herself to Sarah. And eventually she, of course, brought this child into the world. But remember also, this is what the angel said, that you will also be blessed. That child that you're carrying, that child is also blessed. But that child is blessed because it is Abraham's child. And, but you need to go back 
to your to the house of your mistress to the house of Abraham what are you running away from are you running away from somebody are you running away from a situation are you, are you running away from an offense are you by the way are you running away from church because certain people maybe they hurt you or they didn't treat you right or are you running away from a job are you running away maybe from a business are you running away maybe from your clan or from your people but you know you're running away you've shut yourself down and you don't want nothing to do where, with where you've come from i really believe this is what god is telling you stop running go back and deal with those things maybe some of you are running away yet you're the one who owes somebody an apology please he says go back make things right go back and ask for forgiveness go back and submit yourself in that to that situation to that person go back and submit yourself to that pastor go back and submit yourself to that wife or to that husband go back and submit yourself to that boss go back why because sometimes when we begin running we run away from our provision we run away from the very place where God wants to bless us. This girl, Hagar, as she was running away from Abraham's, Abraham's, Abraham's house, she was running away from her provision. Because as long as she was under Abraham and in his home, she did not have to worry about anything. Everything was provided. But in the wilderness, she was all by herself. Sometimes we find ourselves in the wilderness because we are running. We are running from our provision. We are running from the place where God placed us. Stop running if the lord has spoken to you and this has ministered to you please feel free to share this message this video with somebody maybe uh, you can share it you know through our various social media platforms and may the lord bless you and please remember stop running god bless you